Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, taking a look at the blockchain stocks here and just want to point out that a user pointed out that XAU is not necessarily a blockchain stock, but it does have dealings in the cryptocurrency space. So we're going to leave it on the list as that is what we are interested in, names that are seeing hype due to the cryptocurrency space. And of course, blockchain is a part of that. So we're going to be looking at Hive, BLOC, BTL. Those are all on the Venture Exchange, Canadian tickers. We've got XAU.TO, and then the US names Grow and Riot. And let's start it off with Hive. H-I-V-E dot V, and the U.S. ticker is P-R-E-L-F. So we are in consolidation mode, and we need to be very cautious, especially on a name that has run thousands of percent, or I should say hundreds of percent. No, it actually did make it thousands. So thousands of percent without, you know, strong financials. We, the financials that I look through are certainly concerning if you are a long-term holder in terms of the company's ability to continue funding things without diluting shares. So all of that aside, just looking at the charts, the supports that we need to be watching are 370 and 385. The middle Bollinger Band is going to be in play this coming week. It's going to be in the 380 range on Monday. If we break 370, that is a very clear signal that the bears are still in full control and we have more consolidation to go. Right now we have our high, the low is 370, our lower high is 464. And right now we're trying to hold a higher low by holding 370. The bulls need to break the lower high pattern. The last three days in a row, we've seen lower highs. If the bulls can break 417 on Monday, that will be the start of potentially seeing support hold and the bulls show back up. So it's 417, 433, and 445 as the first three resistances to be watching. And the only trade that I would be making in terms of making an entry is if you are looking to essentially bottom fish 370 support and exit if that level breaks. Because I believe if it does break, we are heading down to the next support 354, 315 after that. Weekly time frame, certainly very extended, which is another reason we need to be cautious. If we do begin consolidating and lose this upper Bollinger Band, which we did actually close below the, for the first time on this run, you can see for months here, we're above the upper Bollinger Band and now we have lost it. So it's going to start this coming week as resistance. And that could be the signal that consolidation is going to be a bit more prolonged. So definitely cautious on all of these names because of how much they have run, but there will still be trading opportunity. BLOC.V ticker for the US sector is, or I should say for the US market, BLKCF. So here we have a similar pattern with our high the low is down at 269. Our lower high is 307, and the bulls are trying to hold 269 just barely. If we break 269, next level is down at 244, and the middle Bollinger Band will be just below 269 as well. So pretty similar pattern where we have a break of the lower highs. We had a double top at 325, and we got a bull break there, but the upper Bollinger Band keeping the price contained. It is now ascending to the upside, creating some room where we could see a bullish MACD cross and the bulls make their way back to the mid $3 range. But again, we have to hold three or 269 for the bulls to be looking in that direction. A break of 269 means back off, be patient, further consolidation is coming. Same thing here with the weekly chart. It's been stair-stepping higher. At least it's been building support on the way up. 184 is essential support on the weekly longer term time frame upper bollinger band resistance here as well but still in an uptrend overall both block and hive holding support on the daily just barely monday or tuesday will let us know if we need to back off or if the bulls are going to be able to hold that support btl.v us ticker btllf also in a very nice uptrend. We saw a strong end of the week. We ended with a higher low and a higher high. Did see a close near the low of the day. Resistance is 688 and support is 633 and 608. So we're watching those two support levels. Friday was a bearish reversal candlestick. So if we break 633 on Monday and see a red day, that will confirm that we are in consolidation mode and we'll be watching for a higher low to form because this daily chart certainly favoring the bulls. And you can see just the difference between the first three that we've looked at. Hive and BLOC are consolidating sideways with a little bit more of a bearish lean while BTL is just coming off of higher highs and has not been in that you know four or five day consolidation over this past week. Weekly time frame, 
much more pro consolidation has gone on. So that is a good sign in terms of establishing support. We're not too overextended. We haven't run thousands of percent and are starting to consolidate from that move. We have run significantly. We've seen a 100% move, but the bulls are just now entering breakout mode and looking with their sights set on 704. We got up to 688. If we break 704, that is a very significant bull signal and blue sky breakout bulls can be very confident on a break of 704 that we're going to see some quick short-term games at the very least. So I would be looking for, you know, a 10% move if we break 704. And the question will be, can the bulls pull that off while maintaining this, <clears throat> excuse me, while maintaining this really strong uptrend on the daily time frame? XAU.TO, US ticker is XAUMF. Pulling back, bouncing off the daily middle Bollinger Band two days in a row. Inside bar on the daily Friday, so a break of 620 is bearish and a break of 662 is bullish. If we can keep this daily middle Bollinger Band as support, bulls will maintain control. But we did break this 612 support level. Actually, I take that back. It's a double bottom. So that is the support. 612 and 613, a low from Thursday and a low from the prior week. That is a must-hold little double low. If we break that level, we're looking down at 577. And that will begin to shift the pattern because we've seen clear higher lows and higher highs. A break of 612 would change that. So that's the must hold level. If I were in an XAU.TO position, 612 breaking would have me exit the trade as a bull. GROW. Also a bit of a bearish consolidation move here. We have our high. Low of the pullback was 277. Lower high was 367. And then we broke 277. Granted, it was only by two pennies, but that is technically a little lower high and a lower low. So the middle Bollinger Band support is going to be in play this coming week. And we have to wait for a break of the lower high pattern. Even if the bulls show up this coming week to start, anything under 367 will be just another lower high. So I'll be watching for this pattern to tighten up if the bulls can show up early to start this week. And if they can't, and if we break 275, we're looking at the middle Bollinger Band as the first support, and then 255 and 254 as the next support. Weekly time frame for grow these big upper wicks showing profit taking, and certainly a weak close at the end of the week down near the low. And we have to be watching for a new higher low to be established, as this is another name that has run multiple hundreds of percent in the past couple months. So certainly have to be cautious. But as of right now, down near the low of consolidation, I would put it in the same category as BLOC and HIVE in terms of you know, still in an uptrend, still consolidating, but at a key support of that consolidation. And the way that we're looking on XAU, also in consolidation mode. So out of the four that we've looked at so far, and actually it's five that we've looked at so far, BTL is the strongest name overall with the higher high being hit on Friday. Wrapping it up with RIOT, another US name. We have a clear lower high pattern on the daily, 996, 950, 898. At this point, support is down at 680 and 633. The bulls must hold 633. If we break that level, it's a big time red flag. We've been bouncing from the, the low 630s, the 620s down here. So it's almost a descending triangle pattern. If we can hold this low support, if we were to bounce off, you know, the 630, 640 range one more time, see another bounce and set a lower high, the range would just continue getting tighter. But I do like this pattern just because it's tightening. And when the, the break of the tightening pattern does occur, it will be very clear. And whatever direction that will be, we can act on that. But the Bollinger Bands are tightening. You see the lower Bollinger Band acting as support, the upper Bollinger Band acting as resistance. So this is another name that is certainly in consolidation mode. Most of the space this past week was consolidating. So we do need to be cautious and not try and hit the same kind of action that we've been seeing. You know, when the, when the stocks are running up, for weeks in a row, it's very easy to be bullish. And if you make a mistake, it's really easy to recover. But now that we're looking a little bit more toppy, we have to be a bit more cautious because the last thing we want to be doing is stuck holding the bag on these names when they pull back more significantly. So the 200 week moving average is support here at 615. We bounced off of that down at the low of last week, upper Bollinger Band rejecting the price the past two weeks in a row. So again, still a bullish chart, just in consolidation mode. And at this point, it's healthy consolidation. So that's that's the, the synopsis of the entire space of all the names that we just covered, aside from BTL, which has yet to enter more significant consolidation. So we'll keep an eye on things because there is still certainly going to be some trading opportunity approaching. Again, you check out the intro to blockchain stocks video that I did in terms of my op opinion on these stocks and their financials and the, the long-term fundamentals of these companies. But as of right now, I'm just interested in trading them and watching for a break of these tightening ranges to indicate the bulls are back in control and being very patient while that occurs. I appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your weekend.